everybody welcome back to the homestead two turtles homestead um it's been a very busy time around here been been working in the garden been working on the fence been raising baby chickens and so we thought we'd just uh take you along and show you a little snippets of everything we've been doing around here hope you enjoy it just planted uh three rows of okra the outer two rows are the burgundy okra the one on this side is the orange Planted a gray zucchini there. We're going to be putting orange sweet potatoes in here. And then over there on the arch, of course, we planted green beans. On the cattle panel, first half is uh, yard-long asparagus beans. Second half is uh, seed-saved Boston pickling cucumbers. And then in that box on the outer side is uh, zucchini. Italian zucchini, and then on the other side is just yellow summer squash. Good job, baby. Meet chickens first day on grass. We actually moved them out here yesterday. After Jim got home from work, they outgrew their brooder really quick like so. Even though they're only three weeks old, we thought it was warm enough to go ahead and put them out. So as you can see, they're right close to the house. So we're gonna, we're gonna tractor them in the, our front yard where our, this is where our septic tank was put in. And so we can't really grow anything here anyway. So we're gonna try to use these baby chickens to fertilize um, the ground and get some, get some real grass growing. So there they are. 28 um, Murray's Ginger Broilers. Three weeks old, so they're looking pretty good. So we'll take a little walk through the high tunnel today, see what we got growing. Everything's doing really well. Start over here. Got some lettuce that really needs harvesting. Got some cilantro, some tomatoes, and these are triple L crop. I don't know what uh, variety that is. It was a substitute. Got some San Marzanos. These are the ones that we got from the school. I, I can't remember what variety they are, but they're loaded with blooms. This one, I don't know what, I don't know what variety it is, but it's you know, growing a lot slower than the rest of them and I got a little pepper plant here which is an early sensation hybrid sweet pepper more of the tomatoes from the school We've got a orange king another sweet bell pepper variety this is curly kale we've got some cabbage that I thought that the rabbits ate down, but then it came back. So we'll see if we have time to get cabbage. It's another tomato, and I believe that is an Arkansas, not an Arkansas, and an Acres, West Virginia. And I've got some broccoli coming on, which I also thought the rabbits got that, but uh, it came back too. And then this is my cauliflower, which I thought that the rabbits ate that and I planted some more, so I've got mm, probably way too many in here. But I was so excited to find today that I got a little, little cauliflower head coming. Look at that thing. First ever. So I'm excited about that. And then this is a, a hot cayenne pepper. This is another San Marzano tomato. And then that is a Tabasco pepper, another Acres, West Virginia. We got some more cabbages over here, and I bet you that's a cabbage moth that just flew by. And this is some um, red romaine lettuce that bolt. I think it's bolting on me because it got, you know, it's just way more lettuce than I can eat. So, I'll have to do some. We'll feed it to the chickens. Um, this is called a stupus tomato again it was a substitute for something that I ordered that was out so 
we'll see what those look like. Picked up this is a little cherry tomato I picked up the other day. And these are all of our sweet potatoes, and they are really starting to come on. These are the purple Japanese sweet potatoes. And then these are all of our potatoes, and I believe they're Kennebec potatoes. So they are starting to bloom and looking really, really good. So this is another San Marzano. Uh, I focused on San Marzano is because I just really want them for um, canning. So we'll see. And then I got some other little peppers that are stuck down in here. This is another sweet uh, big red. Um, so I'm hoping that it's going to, I think it's a little crowded, but hopefully it'll be all right. And then another San Marzano. Some more potatoes. And then another triple L crop. So. We will see, and I've got uh, my grocery store, basil, and mint, so so that is it. So far, so good. The first spring season in the high tunnel is looking really good. i got to work on my crop spacing and, um, and, that, and timing, so I think I uh, put too many, too much lettuce. i got to figure out how to succession grow the lettuces so that they don't all get overcrowded and and bolt before I can eat it because Jim doesn't eat a lot of lettuce so I've got to figure out how to how to grow that so I can just continually harvest it when I need it so that is a look at the high tunnel update on the American breast chickens they are they will be eight weeks old tomorrow they all seem to be growing out very nicely I've got a really good variety um, out of 14 eggs that hatched interestingly they're 50 50 male and female so I have uh, three white roosters and four white hens I have uh, three black roosters and one black hen one blue rooster and two blue hens they all seem to be growing really nicely. I will say just a visual observation that the white uh, seem to grow faster than the colored varieties. Um, my white roosters are tr uh, way larger than the black ones as you can see right there. I did have one little hiccup with one of my white roosters mr. King right there he seems to only have one waddle that's growing in and I don't know if he'll turn around so you can see but yeah you can see um, so I've learned maybe that that could be a sign of infertility and I'm hoping not because he is by far the best looking specimen for breeding um, he's got really good color on his legs. His size is really good. Um, but as I heard uh, one breeder say, uh, it's good to have a king, a spare, a king, an heir, and a spare. So that he is king, and right next to him is Duke, who is the spare, and then laying down over there is Prince, who is the heir. So. Um, Duke and Prince are pretty equal, except for Prince has a better disposition. Um, and so I kind of like that better. So but we'll see. That is a eight-week update. So, so far, so good from the Arizona chicken American breast hatching eggs. There we go. This week on the homestead, 50 strawberry plants in this section of our food forest.
just dug a little trench, spaced them about eight or nine inches apart. Got them all planted right down the middle of the box. Now I just got to cover them all up and water them in really nice. So we have 50 here. I've got 25 over there and then I'm going to put 25 in this box right here. So that's what's going on. Got these strawberry plants from Rain Tree Nursery. They were having a end of season sale. Uh, 25 roots, which there was about 26 or 28 in each one, um, for eight dollars. Um, not expecting anything from them this year, but we hope to get a harvest from them next year. So today is June the third second or third I believe so hopefully I just hope they survive we planted some a couple years ago when we first got here what we bought from one of the big box stores zero zero germinated so got high hopes for these from rain tree so we'll see but uh, they had a really good they've got a really good YouTube and website that um, gives instructions on how to plant these so I am doing exactly what well, it's every day every day they just don't realize how loud they're Motors. That was a motorcycle. He does it. He's a mile down the road, and you can still hear him. Ridiculous. So, uh, these roots are really long. So anyway, apparently, this part of East Tennessee that we live in, they don't put a lot of stock in mufflers and catalytic converters. I remember when we looked at this property, it was on New Year's Day 2021, and it was raining, and we thought, oh, so peaceful and quiet here. <laughs> Didn't take long after we moved in to realize that that was a fluke. Kind of reminded me of that Chevy Chase movie, Funny Farm where they paid the town to be nice when they were trying to sell the house. But anyway, we love it here. We got excellent neighbors and this is just a really good community, despite the loud vehicles. And the doggone Air Force fighter jets that fly over every seemingly Wednesday and Thursday our house is a direct path for their training. Oh, there he goes. Gotcha. All right. That is 10 down and 15 more to go. And then this little project will be finished. Okay. So there we go. This week on the homestead. We got a hundred strawberry plants planted. They start right here. We got 25 in this bed, going right down the middle. And 
Then we're going to jump over. Jim's going to till this bed up, and it's going to be my new um, asparagus bed. I think I've got maybe 50, 50 asparagus roots to plant. This is our current bed. Um, they're still young, so we let them go to seed. I'm still not sure if we're supposed to do that or not. Need to check on that. But uh, I just planted 25 strawberries in this bed. I've got to do some weeding. I saw poison ivy right there. Oh, I know, probably got it all over me. So, 25 in this. I skipped that bed right there just because it's really full. Um, and this is our annual bed. We've got some squash coming up. We got our green beans. We got hyssop and sage, uh, borage, and our Jerusalem artichokes coming up over there. These are zucchinis, and then yard long beans there. Cucumbers, uh, not so not so good so far. Give them a couple more days. And then I just planted 50 strawberries in this bed. As you can see, it's a nice big long trail right down the middle. So hopefully it will fill in and make really good ground cover and provide us some yummy strawberries. So that is it for me. But look at that view. Is that not beautiful? And Jim, of course, has been working on the fence and this is how far he's gotten he's got that this whole side done and he jumped over the driveway and he's on to this side and boy what a burn pile he's got there <clears throat> but it's looking really good so it looks awesome and so he's almost to we got a ditch line over there so he's gonna take it across that ditch line and then our property goes beyond that telephone pole over there uh, a little way so he's gonna take it all the way up to there and then curve it back to the right so yeah so it's been a busy week on the homestead and that is the fence going down there I am planting asparagus crowns we got them I believe I said the other day we got them from rain tree but we got them I think from Stark Brothers so I got 10 Millennium asparagus and 10 purple passion asparagus so I'm gonna plant them in this bed right here
Okay, last four. Going in right here. Two millennium and two purples. Gonna go in right here. Let me get some of this trash out of the way. Look at that. Hmm. Old something. There we go. 20 asparagus crowns planted. We know we won't see anything on them this year, but these are for, for next spring. Yeah, and I didn't film uh, planting these, but I did also plant the rest of our sweet potato vines. I was saving them for a neighbor, but uh, I guess they decided they didn't want to plant sweet potatoes, so rather than wasting them, I just put them in the ground, and uh, we'll see what they do out here. And Jim's been working on the fence, of course, all day. It's looking pretty good. He is building up the bank so that he can cross that ditch over there and head on to the other side. As soon as I cool off, I'll get, I'll get out and walk over there and get it a look-see, or let you do it. It ain't hot. It's hot out. It ain't it's not hot. hot. hot in the sun. It's not hot. It's hot in the sun. I'm not used to being out in the, in the sun all day. It feels good to me. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, but oh, what a beautiful day. It's a little bit hazy, but man, look at, the, look at our view. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this tree full of poison oak. <laughs> That's poison ivy. Poison ivy. It's one of the three leaves. But man, that is gorgeous today. Look at that. Not a cloud in the sky. A little bit of haze, but. Not even a chemtrail. Not even a chemtrail. <laughs> well, just wait till this afternoon. Yes, today. They'll the be a trail thing. They just decided not to do it. Yeah, they took the day off. They'll be out tonight. Country traffic jam. <laughs> That's the traffic I like. I know. Let's get something drink. Let's do it.